guys, this is Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. For today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make a floating frame for your canvas artwork or your signs. This idea is coming to you from Stephanie from KSL Studio 5. We'll be airing a segment on it on Channel 5 on August 2nd. If you'd like to tune in, I'll post the link below to Studio 5 and you can check it out live streaming or watch it on TV if you're local to Utah. All right, so to get started, you're going to need a couple of things. One is you're going to need a canvas. This I just bought at my local craft store. Any size will do. It just depends on what you're going to do. We'll show you some artwork in a little bit. We've got our wood. It's a half inch wide, and we've also got four brackets and all the screws that came in a little kit together. We went with black because it was less expensive. And then also we've got stain. You can use natural wood or you can paint or stain your frame. And I've got my drill. I'm also going to be using a saw, so you'll need one of those. Whether it's a chop saw or a hand saw, really anything will do. All right guys, so to get started, you're gonna take your board and you're gonna put it up against your canvas. Put your brackets in place and make sure that your bracket and your board are flush. And then you come across the other side to your other bracket and you're going just to mark it. You're going to mark it right there. So that way I know where the bracket is. And I'll make that cut. I'll make two cuts at that length and then we'll come back and measure for the other side. All right guys, so in true Jamie Ray fashion, I miscut the first two boards. So we're putting those on the sides and I'm going to be measuring to see how to cut the length. So I'm just gonna mark there and there and we'll get those cut and show you how we screw them all together. All right guys, so now that we've got it all cut, I'm doing a dry fit just to make sure my cuts are correct. I'm gonna go ahead and sand and stain all the pieces before I assemble them because it's just easier to do that way. Then we just have to make a few drills and screws and we're all done. Okay, so Zeb's going to show you how to do some basic hand lettering. He's using um, his pencil just to do some Times New Roman. And then we're going to use a Sharpie. It's a fast and simple way to get a hand done sign. And you're probably wondering why he's doing it. It's because he's the more artistic. I would be all day. Okay, so now Zeb's going to use the Sharpie and fill in his pencil marks. There's no going back from here. Yeah, don't screw up. <laughs> no pressure. So we're going to mark where the brackets go and then we'll drill the hole. All right guys, we've got our sign all done. We're going to drop it down into our frame and then 
All right, guys, our frame is all finished. I think it turned out pretty cute. A little tip that we learned is if it's not quite tight enough, just pull those screws out just a little bit, and that way it'll wedge your canvas in there. If you're using a bigger canvas, be sure to add a couple of staples to the side and some triangles to the back corners to add a little bit more stability. I hope this inspires you to frame out your artwork, your kids' pictures, or really anything that you have around the house. Be sure to catch me on August 2nd on Studio 5. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.